Okay. So at this time, I'm going to I'm going to call the special call meeting of the Mayor Board of Aldermen to order uh, May 19th, the year 2020. Uh, the time now is 9.50 a.m. Uh, we will now have a moment of silent prayer. So let us pause for a few moments of silent prayer. Okay, I'm fine. Thank you and amen. Um, and Madam Clerk, will you put your phone on mute for a second, please? Yes, uh, at this time, will the Chief of Police, will you lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Yes, sir. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Chief Armstrong. Next, um, on the agenda, we will have the roll call by the city clerk. Madam <coughs> Clerk? Yes, sir. Alderman Mathis? Here. Alderman Frazier? Here. Alderman Smith? Alderman Smith? Alderman Irvin? Here. Alderman Davis? Here. Alderman Dillard? Here. Alderman Dillard. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Latham? I'm here. Here. Thank you, Mr. Latham. All present except um, uh, Alderman Smith, Mayor. I'm here. Thank you, Madam. Oh, she's there. She's there. Okay, I got her. All present and counted for Mayor. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Uh, next, I will turn it over to the city attorney for the item uh, that is the purpose of this special call meeting today. Mr. Attorney. Yes, the mayor, thank you. Um, the mayor called a meeting today to deal with the amendment of the uh, May 12, 2020 stay at home order uh, that's providing for the curfew in section six of that order. <clears throat> there have been some discussions over the weekend with the um, casino opening May the 21st under the Mississippi Gaming Commission order. There, there needed to be some amendments to the curfew uh, to allow patrons to and from that business as well as potential other businesses that will be operating beyond the original curfew hours. So the, the Board of Supervisors, we had adopted their curfew un, under the uh, May 12, 2020 stay at home order. Um, to my understanding, the board uh, will amend section six of the May 12, 2020 stay at home order uh, to uh, provide uh, provisions similar to those adopted by the Board of Supervisors yesterday. Our the amendment that I've sent out that's now in front of you on the screen is a little different from what the Board of Supervisors um, ordered yesterday. And I'm, I'm just going to briefly read you their amendment that Scott Slover sent to me. Uh, and it states, that there was a motion made to amend the curfew to allow an exemption to include those traveling to, from, and while patronizing any business lawfully operating under the current executive order. This includes, but is not limited to, those businesses operating pursuant to the order of the Gaming Commission. This does not include loitering outside the businesses. So that's, that's what they approved yesterday. Ours is similar to that, except um, I was just restates that the curfew is still from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. in the morning. But our amendment provides that all persons over the age of 21 years shall be exempt from the curfew to travel to, from, and while patronizing any business lawfully operating under the state, current stay-at-home order dated May 12, 2020, 
the city of Nat Natchez, as well as other businesses being authorized to operate pursuant to their particular state agency orders, such as the Mississippi Gaming Commission provided that no person shall be al allowed to lauder outside any of the said businesses. And further than any person violating curfew should be subject to the fines and penalties provided for in section seven of the state stay at home order. And this, this okay. resolution that would be passed today would also state that the May 12th, uh, 2020 stay at home order will remain in full portion of respect to all other provisions except as amended herein. Okay, uh, you've heard the uh, proposed amendment that was presented by the city attorney. Uh, questions, comments are your pleasure. Mr. Mayor, may I have a question? Uh, yes, question. Ms. Smith, go ahead. Okay, I, would you mind reiterating the difference between ours and the county because it seems like that gets confusing for people if there's something one's doing and not the other. Would you please repeat that part? The only the, 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 I guess the important part of our uh, curfew is it only allows persons over the age of 21 to to travel to the businesses um, at, at any hour. So and what was theirs? There's just, just it, it doesn't limit it. It just opens it up so that anybody is traveling to and from and patronizing businesses that are authorized to be open, that they've got free right to travel. Without May I ask the point in changing it? What was the reasoning behind the altering it? And limited it to persons over 21? Yes. Well, because uh, in our conversations with, especially with the police chief, um, persons um, under 21 uh, need to stay home. They're the they're, so, they're the ones. Go ahead. I'm sorry. They're the ones that tend to um, be mischievous, get in trouble. Um, I think even um, Supervisor Ricky Gray pointed out that they pay close attention to the orders that have been, have been entered by the county and the city. For instance, they knew when we went from 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock, you know, some youth were out and someone suggested they go home and they said, it's not 11 o'clock. Well, if you, if you just leave this curfew wide open for people to travel, regardless of the age, to any business that's open, um, you know, you know, all the youth can get out and say, we're free to travel under this order. So is this more of, I'm just trying to get it clear. Is this more of an issue of crime or is this more of a COVID issue? It's an issue of crime. And it can also be an issue of COVID because if they are hanging out and congregating uh, like in a parking lot or neighborhood. So that also enhances the spread of this disease. That's true. Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor. Ms. Mathis. To the city attorney, I, I, because it's early, I'm trying to drink coffee and wake up completely. What is the uh, age limit? You can't go into a bar until you're 21, is that it? That is correct. Mr. Attorney, I'm I'm trying it. Um, well, you know, <laughs> I hadn't thought about that much. I well, know, that's what I'm asking. That's why I'm asking. Uh, you can so drink beer and white wine. I think it's a, I think 21. You know, to drink liquor, but um, you can certainly drink beer and light wine. I think from 18 to 21. All right, and the age limit for going into the casino is 21. I think it's 21. It is 21. I don't go to the casino, though. I don't either. I'm just trying to make sure that we are not doing anything that's going to stop these uh, folks. So that's why I was asking about those two ages. Uh, so the 18, you could be in a bar at 18, but you'd be drinking beer or wine, right? Yes, ma'am. 
Uh, yes, Mr. Frazier. Uh, uh, this is uh, this amendment that we're doing now. It's 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 really, as you stated earlier, that uh, Mr. Mayor and Mr. Chen is really dealing with crime and and stay at home. The the average in order for you to uh, basically what we're doing is, is the business that accommodate people over 21. You as the state law say you got to be 21 to get in in a. a into the casino. So basically we're doing it in order for the casino to stay open and the other business that, that's geared up to people who got to be 21 years old. And on the part of crime, it will do it to keep from having these gatherings and house parties that these kids are having due to the coronavirus and the larger crowds and stuff. So I think that we're perfectly leaving in what we are doing in, in the city and the county because this is the only way that we're going to get our business back at the casino and other places that have after hours stuff, and we won't have a large crowd gathered. Mr. Thank Mayor. You. Okay. No. Yes, Mr. Dillard. Okay, good. Um, question to the attorney. Now, I'm trying to get all this caught up here. Is that does it prohibit any business from operating 24 hours a day? I mean, I understand that there's no patrons. Um, that are under 21 out after 11, but but say for example, if you have a bar, can it remain open 24 hours? Is there something to prohibit their 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 business hours? No. So it just really just cuts into their their patrons if they're under, well, if they're over 21, then they can stay out as long as they want. Correct. Correct. Okay, so really, our, is that different from what the the county has adopted as opposed to the the operating hours for businesses? The the county didn't have any reference to business hours. Okay, I don't know. Somewhere I got in the idea that there was uh, a two a.m. to five p.m. period, which would allow the casino to, um, you know, sanitize its building. I mean, it, it's actually it's from 2 a.m. until 8 a.m. Uh, when they go through a sanit uh, sanitizing period and they reopen at eight. So they're 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 closing their operations are uh, to the public so that they can properly prepare their facilities for the. Uh, at eight o'clock for the next round of, of patrons. That's that's pretty much right. Yeah, they're bringing in a crew that will work from two a.m. until eight a.m. to sanitize a complete casino. Is that a self-imposed? Um, 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 that is correct. That is something that uh, Magnolia Bluff decided that they would do in order to reduce the spread of the virus. Hmm. So again, let just say I've got a, a, a tavern in the city of Natchez and uh, it's operating lawfully under the executive orders and the county's uh, position. They can operate 24 hours a day, but at uh, 11 o'clock, anyone under 21 years of age should uh, uh, and, uh, respond to the, the curfew as stated. Okay. Uh, right. Correct. But and uh, uh, Bob, Bob, no bars or taverns can be open unless they serve food, correct? Correct. That was that was oh. under the governor's last order uh, when they uh, opened up the restaurants. Uh, the bars that, do, that don't serve food would remain closed. And we, we adopted that order. OK. No, so I have you, another question. Go ahead, Ms. Math. Okay, now, for some reason, like I said earlier, did we not say 18? I keep hearing uh, Mr. Dillard saying 21. I have two questions. So we said 18 over the age of 18, right? No, we said 21. It was not 18, it's 21. Okay, all right. Now, that, uh, the other, I got you, too. I got you. Now, the other question I have is on the Sunday discussion, the casino said they would close at two and open at six. So 
they have since, because I don't have anything in front of me, and I'm going to request that a copy be sent out after we get through with this. But I was on that discussion Sunday. So they changed from, from 2 to 6 to 2 to 8. Uh, from, yeah, uh, from what I understand, uh, their period of sanitizing will be from 2 until, and they reopen at 8 o'clock. They will have a crew in there from two until eight. Okay. Is Mr. Heilberg on this call? Uh, he was in court in Magnolia. I don't know if he's on this call or not. Yeah. Well, if they, but that's that's them. If they if they open at six, that's on them. They just need to let us know, right? Right. Okay. Well, why don't I don't? When, Bob, yeah, when go we ahead. discussed Sunday, it was six. I think it was two to six a.m. Oh, is it six? Okay, Bob. I I thought it was eight. Bob. Well, I'm 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 not, I don't understand the discussion about the times of opening and closing, because the county's the county's amended curfew doesn't have any time restrictions. It just says that any businesses that can lawfully operate, then they're you know the patron. I mean, citizens are free to travel to and from and patronize them. So it's not limiting the operational hours of any businesses. Mr. Turner. Mr. Turner. Yes, uh, Mr. Frazier. As you say, dealing with this, we're dealing with, 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 we're dealing with consent, but as you stated, this is a self-imposed time that Magnolia took up on its own. This is not a, a statewide issue, correct? Correct. So well, let me, let me make one statement now. The, the casinos are governed by the Mississippi Gaming Commission, and there, exactly. was an order, That's what there was an order entered by the Gaming Commission providing certain guidelines that the casinos have to follow when they open May the 21st. So there could be some guidelines within their uh, provisions that. that tell the casinos to shut down for some period of time to to sanitize. So I, I don't okay. I don't I don't know what okay. that is. Then, Mr. Turner, that's what we need to that what we need to find out is, is this is something that is self imposed by the, the, the game commission. Now on the other end on the other end we need to find out about if we have uh, like you say the club and you know as you know we're tourist town and some of these, these big bars and they might say they don't have a time in they can close whenever they want. Uh, we're imposing a time limit on them. Uh, we're going to leave it as, as it's always been until the virus goes. I, I didn't quite understand what you said. What, what I'm saying is that, what I'm saying is that uh, uh, some of these businesses, though, as you know, uh, we didn't have a time for some of these bar rooms and stuff to close. Uh, they had they could close whenever they wanted to, or whenever the last person leaves. Uh, we're going to have a self-imposed time on them for the clothes because, as you know, we are a tourist town and we were saying, oh, we're going to do this until we get a handle on this virus situation. Well, the, the governor's order, the, the governor's order restricts the opening of bars that don't serve food. So we couldn't allow bars to open that don't serve food because the governor's order says they can't. Now the governor's order, um, I think. I think it. I was trying to think whether or not it's he extended his to May the thirty first. He extended certain provisions to May the thirty first. I'd have to make sure about the the bars, but under under our stay at home order, the bars that don't serve food will remain closed until May thirty first. Okay. Hold up. Let Mr. Frazier finish. Go ahead, Mr. Frazier. I'm sorry. As a, as a, we we need to get some kind of clarification on it, like say, because this 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 is kind of confusing. Because like say, some of the bars do stay open late, and the casinos and and uh, I was telling you about that. We need to, we really need to get some clarification on which way we need to go because we don't want to uh, step into the step over have a conflict with the state because I like say. We are a tourist town, and we are, and if I'm, if maybe somebody can correct me on this, and we are different than than any other cities in the state of Mississippi without charter. 
Well, I'm, we're, I'm, I'm, the the way the well, way ours is structured basically we're letting businesses operate the way they can under the governor's order and the gaming commission. So I mean we're not we're not imposing really any more strict requirements than what they could otherwise do if we didn't have anything. Yeah, I mean this amendment to the curfew will not impact any of those businesses out there. It just basically those people who should be at home, you know, should stay at home. Uh, and, you know, anyone who is under 21 years of age, they, they have no business in the casino anyway at uh, one or two o'clock in the morning. Okay, uh, Alderman Mathis. Yeah, I, uh, under the governor's uh, declaration, could somebody tell me the definition of food? I think what we're trying, I think what one of the things that they, that came to mind, they are under resort status. I think that's what we're talking about, the resort status of the city, the bars that are out there. What, what, what is the definition of food in the, in the governor's declaration? Do we know, Mr. City Attorney? So that they, uh, then that, that, would, that, would, that would clear up everything uh, in terms of any of them being open. That's what I'm trying. I think that's one of the questions. I don't, I don't recall there being a definition of what serving food is, and that is an issue in my mind. Uh, I don't think you could probably just serve popcorn or peanuts and be qualified as serving food. But then again, for instance, a corner bar, I know they have food, they serve food certain times of the week, maybe one day a week, maybe two days a week, but does that qualify as serving food? So that is an issue, and I, I understand it is. I, I may end up having called the governor's order to find, you know, what would be a violation of that, so we, so our businesses would know. Mr. Mayor. Well, then, Mr. Mayor, may I finish? May I finish? Uh, with this last let Ms. let Ms. Mathis finish. If if you're going to have to get clarification, we we, we only have till twenty first for the casino. So I mean, could we um, to the attorney? Could you word whatever you're going to do subject to your findings? You know, so that we can go on and be sure that we we are ready to be open for the casinos, and then the rest be subject to your findings or some way like that. I don't know the wording, but you know what I'm talking about. Thank you. What well, actually well, this I amendment. Mean, doesn't have anything to do with, you know, what's the definition of a a bar serving food. Uh, go ahead, Bob. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It is what it is. I think if the board goes ahead and adopts this amended section six, it, it doesn't affect what food means being served in a bar. We just got to get some clarification from the governor and then you know, hope possibly once we get that clarification, it can be disseminated among the communities and, and, and the bar owners so they'll know, you know, what they have to do to comply with this service of food provision. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah, who is this? Dan. Uh, Mr. Dillard, go ahead. Again, I'm, are we, what we're offering here is in uh, lockstep with the state and with the county. The only difference I see is that it, and it, it doesn't restrict the businesses. It only restricts those citizens under 21 years of age, uh, uh, which brings them under the city curfew. And that after 11 o'clock, they should be making their way home. Would that be fair to say, Mr. Ma uh, Attorney? Well, I'd say before 11 o'clock. Yeah, I mean, that's the, that's the thing. But that, that really seems the intent of what we've got going on here. So we're not that's doing anything different than the state. We're not doing anything different than the county. These businesses can open. If, if, if they want to open with nobody in them and stay open 24 hours, they can. But if their patrons are under the age of 21, uh, they should be at home by 11 o'clock, correct? Correct. That is Sorry. correct. I mean, it, it would it would allow, uh, for instance, Walmart, to, which used to stay open 24 hours, if they want to, if they stay open 24 hours, this allows citizens over the age 21 to, to, to shop at Walmart. 
and there may be other local businesses. I don't know how long um, Walgreens stays open. Seems like they used to stay open later. But, well, Walmart, um, excuse me, Walmart closes at eight thirty. Uh, well, it, it, I don't. When you say eight thirty, I don't. I, I haven't been to Walmart after, at that point time They've of night. They've changed their store hours. They've changed their store hours. I guess since we've had the curfew, but they were closing at seven, and now they've increased it to eight thirty every night. They close at eight thirty. Well, that's up to Walmart. I'm just saying they in the past have been open 24 hours they can open 24 hours now if they want to and the citizens can patronize them 24 hours under the under this amendment that's all that's my point that's the only point i'm making okay so we've got the proposed amendment before us what's the pleasure of the board so moved uh is there a second Is there a second, second on the moon? Is that you, second. Mr. Dillard? Second. Alderman Frazier. Alderman Frazier. It's been moved by Alderman Davis and second by Alderman Frazier. Any unreadiness on the motion? Hearing none, yes, Alderwoman. Uh, yes, Ms. Smith. Yeah. Okay. So I thought those of you that were invited to be on the call with the EOC and the county Sunday, the point was to try to get something that would work for everybody and this is changing it is there's so much confusion already i don't understand this why we would do it differently and then i don't for instance like 100 main or somebody uh natchez manor might have employees that are under 21 and might have people eating there late night under 21 and this is i just i don't understand the changes okay is there further readiness on the motion Hearing none, Alderman Mathis, how do you vote? Aye. Alderman Frazier, how do you vote? Aye. Alderman Smith, how do you vote? Nay. Okay, Alderman Irvin, how do you vote? Aye. Alderman Davis, how do you vote? Aye. And Alderman Dillard, how do you vote? Aye. Uh, Madam Clerk, uh, there were five in favor, one opposed, correct? Yes, that's correct, Mayor. Okay, uh, it passes by majority. At this time, I will entertain a motion that we adjourn. So moved. It's moved by Alderman Davis. Is there a second? Second. Was it you, Alderman Irving? Okay, yeah. it's not a debatable motion. Therefore, I will call for the vote. Alderman Mathis, how do you vote? Aye. Alderman Frazier, how do you vote? Aye. Aye. Alderman Smith, how do you vote? Aye. Alderman Irving, how do you vote? Aye. Alderman Davis, how do you vote? Aye. Alderman Dillard, how do you vote? Ah. Thank you, Alderman Frazier, Alderwoman Irving, Alderman Davis. Don't forget we have a committee meeting. Thank you. Mr. Mayor. Yes, ma'am. Could that's you perfect, give me a copy? Could you give me a physical copy into the house of what we just because I didn't get that. I didn't and I, I wasn't on the screen, I was on the phone. So Yes, ma'am. But I remember the discussion. Thank you. Okay. I like to copy too, Ms. Mayor. Yes, sir, Ms. Frazier. Uh, Thank you. Uh,